Samir al-Nasiri, advisor to the Association of Iraqi Private Banks, confirmed that the central bank's third strategy has created a roadmap with clear objectives and initiatives for three years. Al-Nasiri said, in an interview from Mecca, that the third phase of the central bank for the years 2024 to 2026 derived its main and subsidiary objectives from the Central Bank Law 56 of 2004. Al-Nasiri explained that the third strategy of the central bank identified seven basic goals, with 80 sub-goals and 75 initiatives to achieve the seven basic goals. The seven basic goals are as follows. 1. Supporting and enhancing monetary stability. 2. Promoting digital transformation, activating electronic payment, and strengthening cybersecurity in the central bank and the banking sector. 3. Enhancing financial inclusion. 4. Maintaining a solid financial system that guarantees the rights of its customers. 5. Developing the organizational structure and developing the capabilities of human resources in the central bank. 6. 6. Strengthening the position of the central bank locally and internationally. 7. Enhance compliance with the banking sector and the non-banking sector in line with international standards. Al-Nasiri concluded, and we summarize here. The results achieved by the first strategy for the years 2016 to 2020 and the second strategy for the years 2021 to 2023 occurred during the oppressive economic and financial challenges that Iraq suffered during the past years. The channel took this to mean recovering from the ISIS and COVID financial downturn. We commend Iraq because many countries would not have survived these troubling times. The article went on to say that, the central bank made exceptional efforts during this year and last year, completing the first phase and implementing the second phase. The central bank is now implementing all goals. Let me repeat that. The central bank of Iraq is now prepared to achieve all goals in the second half of 2024 and the years 2025 and 2026. The channel thinks these are the plans from the original white papers that we talked about a couple of years back. This article is our first indication that the white papers are the guiding light to the CBI's progress toward financial stability and banking reform that aligns with international banking standards.